Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland Reviewer, and I'm here to review Peacock's The Capture. Or is it really? It seems like Peacock has been grabbing BBC or other British networks' shows and putting them on. It's like, we're distributing this now, it's a Peacock original, but The Capture is about a soldier who gets put on trial for shooting an unarmed uh, soldier and he's acquitted after it's found out that they had messed up footage of what he did and he starts falling for his barrister his lawyer and then he gets arrested for her murder or her going missing and it messes up his whole life he's trying to reconnect with his daughter and there's this officer who's hunting him and both of them go on a journey of finding out there's a lot more wrong in this situation than they both thought and this show is starring Holiday Granger as detective the detective and Calum Turner as a soldier and they're trying to figure out obviously the soldiers trying to get away and try to figure out what happened to his lawyer to a acquit himself and this detective is trying to take him in and then you have these other government agencies popping up whether they're British or American including Ron Perlman who's really creepy and unnerving in this film and really intense as this like American black ops kind of leader and there's so many twists and turns in the story like this is a really tense show it's about six episodes, and I really enjoyed this a lot. This is definitely the best of the three originals that Peacock had for, like, adults. Like, they have Curious George and Where's Waldo, stuff like that. But I watched these three, and the capture blew me away. I really enjoyed this. It has twists and turns in its story. It really digs deep into themes of government and... Like, how far should they be able to go to do things? And also, how far will people go to do for the greater good? And what harm can that do to a particular person? Because that's a big thing about this show is there's this greater hope that a group of people are trying to achieve. And on some point, there's going to be sacrifices along the way. And it's really that battle of collectivism versus individualism. It's like, what matters more? And should a man go away just to make society better? And there's dark turns and shady things. And it's a great mystery. I really enjoyed the capture. And I would definitely recommend it if you have Peacock. Obviously, it's like, it's free. But I'm pretty sure you have to get the premium to be able to watch all the episodes of the capture. So, you know, they do what they can to just hook you. But I would definitely recommend the capture. It's definitely one of the best mystery kind of shows that I've watched so far in 2020. And it's only six episodes, so it's like six hours of content. So it's not a huge investment. But those are my thoughts on the capture. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some TV. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.